the executive director of Lost Railway Museum, Kim Conant. Hi, Kim. Hey, Bart. It's great to be back. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome back. Kim. Thank you. Uh, yeah, brand new. Uh, just started at uh, LRM. I did. Uh -huh. I did. I'm really excited. What an, what an amazing place. Yeah, it's one of those. Somebody asked me uh, last week to uh, tell them about a hidden uh, treasure in Jackson County. And actually, there's so many. There are. But um, the museums, I would say, uh, it'd be in the top five, including Lost Railway. Mm -hmm. It is. Of, uh, never been. So much local history. Um, it's just, it's right in my niche. You well, know, I love history. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you worked on the Civil War muster. You ran 13 that for, years. Yeah, so you've got some uh, history chops in your yes, background. Yes, I love history. Last week, uh, Friday night, you had an appreciation open house. We did. We unveiled our brand new exhibit, mm -hmm. and we honored our lead volunteer um, restoration volunteer, Ken Soderbeck. The man is a visionary and has the talent to go along with it. He made the display, set it up, had all the help of our other volunteers. There it is, right there. So that engine, what, what's significant about that engine? It's a motor. It's a 5,000 DC watt motor. It was given to Henry Ford by Westinghouse. Hmm. And car number 62 was a originally an open trailer car. And they covered it. And it had 600 volt motors on it. And they wanted to experiment with the 5,000. That's quite a jump. Yeah. Um, volt motors. And so they put one on each wheel. And they used it as an experiment between Grass Lake and Jackson. And it worked. Huh until the accident. <laughs> um, there was an accident. Did it go too fast? Too yeah, I believe so. And uh, so it got... Too much horsepower. I think so. It got sent back to Albion to be, re, to be um, fixed. And then when they came back out, it had the 600 watt motors back on it uh, again. But yes, Henry Ford, the Henry Ford, um, gave us this motor to be on exhibit on loan? The Henry Ford. The Henry Ford. So did Henry Ford himself, was it, is this motor that old that Henry Ford was personally yes. involved with it? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. And there were uh, four of them because there was one on each um, wheel. Someone suggested the other day that we contact Westinghouse and see if we can find the other three. Well, people <laughs> wonder how these, because uh, there are some uh, the rail systems where there's lines that they, you know, they... The uh, electric? Atop, you know, there's, they, they're connected to wires that are powering mm -hmm. through electricity. Those and motors there's nothing were? in the train motor, but these had oh, the... They had the motors, had yeah. had motors. They did. They didn't have lines up above. No, no. they had the motors. Okay. You had nice uh, hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, big guy catering to that for us. That was amazing. Great. And of course, motor on loan from the Henry Ford. How is the Last Railway uh, Museum doing in terms of attendance? You getting well, people in? Like this summer, were there a lot of people from out of town? COVID did hit us, of course. Yeah. And, and the attendance dropped down to from like 4,800 a year down to 3,500 mm -hmm. for the past couple of years. But we're on track right now to get really close to our pre-COVID pandemic days. So we're hoping that we can make that number go. If We may even meet it. We so may you, even get to 4,800 this year. So you have the Boland Express. There's a Boland Express, which is a virtual reality train ride. And it takes you from Jackson to Grass Lake. Mm -hmm. And of course, JTV helped us with that big time. It's wonderful. We get raving reviews about that train ride. We've got, that was car number 29. We've got car number 47, which people can get on and just and sit and walk through it and, and have it in time. We've got this Veloc, okay, Velocipede. 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 It's a dinosaur? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, a railroad Velocipede was also known as a hand it's a trolley. It's a bike. It's between it? a bike and a hand trolley ah. kind of thing. And it's an interactive exhibit we have that kids can hop on and... and like uh, on the rail, on the rail they... Mm -hmm. You can that. actually sit on it and you pump it and oh. 
the kids love it. We even get some adults on every once in a while. <laughs> come out and visit, and we'll see if we can yeah, compete. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to come again, because uh, it's always changing. You're it's always changing. Adding a lot of stuff. We do, and uh, our volunteers are going to continue to restore the Boland Express. Mm -hmm. So in time, we'll be able to put more people on that and accommodate more people on it. It's amazing, uh, because there were no, there really were no uh, decent uh, artifacts of the era right. until you found them in someone's backyard. It, correct. Yeah. And then they restored, and um, our restoration team is, is simply amazing. Of course, it's led by Ken Soderbeck. Well, it's, and it's Ken Soderbeck. And yeah, he's team. just, he's a visionary, and he has the, the means and the, and the nat talent and the know-how and, and the dream, and he can vision it before he does it, and he just does a wonderful job. It's, it's amazing. You, 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 I know you consider him a treasure, as you should. We but do. All the people, really, with the start of the Lost Railway Museum, they worked uh, nights and weekends uh, for years, a couple, three years, getting all doing all the work, uh, hand labor of uh, all the th everything that's in there. It's amazing work. Well, you know, Phil Willis himself was very instrumental in, in acquiring the train cars and. And he's the heart and soul of, of the museum. It's his. It's a, a gem of the he community, is. and he it's is. a big attraction. Downtown Grass Lake, uh, all the shops and everything. Good. Well, Grass Lake is a wonderful place. Uh, it's just a wonderful village. It's kind yes. of like working in a Hallmark movie. There you go. <laughs> what about the future? What are the uh, what, what are your hopes and dreams as? Because I think you're the first full-time executive director mm -hmm. they've I had. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Well, I just started that hope and dream, one of them this morning, talking with um, Tova Sheldon from JISD. Mm -hmm. And we are working and collaborating together to bring more classes out for class trips. Oh, that'd be good. And get the kids out there. And she sent me the curriculum, the state curriculum for the social studies mm -hmm. for the state of Michigan. And we're going to go through that. I'm going to do that with my um, facilities director, Tom mm -hmm. Nolte. We're going to go through that starting on Wednesday and see how we can make it fit into the criteria, because we can. Um, it just does. We just need to sit down and do it. So we're going to present that to JISD. I'm planning on reaching out to, to JPS mm -hmm. for the same purpose. And we're just excited. We'd like to open it up to the classes for class trips and get more people we had some people from Germany not too long ago. Oh my. Tom told me about. So what days and hours can people visit? You can come to the museum on any day, Wednesday through Saturday okay. from 10 to 4. All right. And you can be a member? You can be a member. We're looking for new members. We're looking for volunteers. We're, um, any way you think you can support us. Um, and if, you have a gift shop. We do have a gift shop. So you can come out and buy a, a polo shirt. A t-shirt. We've got a lot of things. We'll be adding to that shortly. So nice. Well, congratulations. One other oh. thing too. You can also rent our ban our banquet room. Oh. We've got a banquet room complete with a beautiful caterer's kitchen, and you can also rent the entire museum for a party, a birthday party, or or whatever. Mm -hmm. Cool. Kim Conan is the person that can uh, get that all set up for you at LRM. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Thank you so much. New Executive Director of Lost Railway Museum in Grass Lake, Kim Conant. Uh, we've got more coming up 